<laughs> What's up, everyone? Renee Loki Geek here. So we have now officially received the official trailer for Five Nights at Freddy's. It's the Universal movie that is coming out on Peacock, I believe, in October. We were recently, not that long ago, treated with the teaser trailer, and I thought it looked kind of interesting. You know, uh, I've said before, I've never played the game. I'm not familiar with the franchise. I know it's extremely popular, and there are a lot of people who love that franchise. Um, but I do love how it was almost like a throwback or callback to like the 80s uh, period, you know, with the Chuck E. Cheeses and all that, which I was a huge fan of, even though I've only been to Chuck E. Cheese probably once or twice in my entire life. But still, I, I see the appeal and I see the fun. And I, I've been going through this rabbit hole on YouTube about old establishments and uh, franchise, you know, franchise properties and, and Chuck E. Cheese and uh, Showbiz Pizza. That's been coming up a lot. And I, I see the appeal. And that's why the premise of this game and this franchise is very interesting. You know, kind of what happens if these electronical things that were meant for kids entertainment come to life and all that. So I'm very curious about what we, we're going to get here in the full trailer. And, you know, who knows, maybe I may dabble in going back into the original game to check it out because, I again, I've never played it. I want to see what the, the appeal is, because if this looks like something that I'm interested in watching, then maybe I want to familiarize myself a little bit with what this property is all about. So let's check out. I'll be checking out for the first time today the official trailer to Five Night at Freddy's. Hi, this is Mike. I was just calling Hi, to Mike. that job that you offered was still available. Yes. The security guard. <laughs> Matthew guards, Lillard. He looks so good. And I love the fact that this is Blumhouse, too. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. I will work and you will sleep. I understand. Oh, I hope this kid, I hope it's not, she's not going to be annoying. Yeah, it has that, you know, showbiz pizza aesthetic. Just keep your eyes on the monitor. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's, where fantasy and fun come to life. There's a very typical 80s training video. Who's that? You must be a new security guard. Can I uh, help you, officer? Have you met them yet? Met who? You met them. Does yeah. she know what goes on? <laughs> okay, this is meant to be funny, right? The police searched Freddy's top to bottom. Hello? They never found them. That's why the place shut down. There are ghost children possessing giant robots. What the? What, what kind of crazy children of the corn stuff is happening here? What do they want? They want to make her like them. Bobby! Tell me how to stop them. <laughs> it's too late. Go. Wow. <laughs> Where to? Why do I always get the weirdos? Yo, oh man. What was this like a Teddy Ruxman like, oh, he's my friend. I'm going to go to the beach with him. Wow. Okay. Interesting. I, I don't think I was expecting that particularly, but wow. Okay. L l let's talk about it. So interesting, interesting premise there. And, and again, it, I don't know if this correlates with what you are familiar with when it comes to the video game and all that, but so it is apparent that these things come to life, but it's, it's being controlled by these freaky random kids that live in the area that possess these things and now they're trying to recruit other kids to join them Whoa, it's like very children of the corn very freaky look whenever you have kids involved 
in like creepiness and and like you know possession and and all that kind of stuff like that supernatural it's very freaky to me like you know kids should just be kids the minute kids start you know walking around with hooks in their hands and you know saying join us be with one of us you know play with us timmy or whatever the case is like that's just not right it, it shouldn't be the case but it looks interesting. It looks very campy. It looks hilarious. I, I feel like this is one of those movies where I'm going to end up laughing at it more than being actually afraid of it. And that's basically what I think they're going with anyway. I mean, it's a campy type of, you know, idea. It's a it's a campy vibe, you know, and it's it's a it's a thing where it's like, OK, yeah, like I said before, you're in a, an establishment that's meant to entertain kids. And then what happens when these things come to life and start, you know, going nuts and wreck, wreaking havoc? So and poor Josh, Mr. Hunger Games is is stuck in the mix um, and, and trying to deal with it. And his poor daughter is now, you know, buddy buddy with the main dude there. Uh, I know he has a name, Freddy Fazbear character. I I just really hope that that kid doesn't end up being like really really annoying. Um, but I will say, you know, it being Blumhouse, I love the fact that they really swing for the fences on this one, and I'm sure with as little budget as possible. It looks like they are going to do something pretty special here. Um, I don't think this is getting a theatrical release. This looks like it's going to be a straight to Peacock type of thing. And um, what I'm seeing here, October 27th, perfect for Halloween, perfect for home viewing. So I think this is going to be a blast for a lot of people. I'm sure a lot of fans of the video game franchise is going to be all over this come October. I'm very cu curious, like what all of you think about it. Is this something that interests you? Is this something that you are um, possibly like, you know, I'll give this a shot. This looks like, you know, if I'm going to be home and I'm doing my Halloween prep and my Halloween in the mood seasonal kind of thing, is this something that I would turn on when it's available? You know, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I may check it out. I don't know. It looks like it's it's going to be fun. Like I said, you know, I love how they keep, you know, reminding us that it's from the creators of Megan. Megan was one of those like weird moments where um, this movie came out in January um, and everyone kept talking about it. Why? Because it was different. Why? Because it was comical. You know, it was like portrayed to be this like really freaky kind of horrific type of movie but if anything i found myself laughing at it and forget it once tiktok gets a hold of a dance then it it blows up and you know there's no turning back no dancing here at least from what i can tell but it looks like it's something that's going to be very interesting to watch and see so again let me know your thoughts in the comments below if this is something you're going to check out but that's going to be it for me for now thank you so much for watching again if you like this and you want to see more of this type of content all you have to do is hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Hit the notification bell to get notified every time a new episode is uploaded. Show your love and support. If you want to follow us on podcast platforms, you could check out the Low Key Geek on your podcast platform of choice. You'll find the Movie Time podcast show there and Talking Talk, pop culture moment, uh, news of the moment type of stuff. And if you want to support this channel even further, Check out the affiliates down in the description below. Uh, various options for you to show your love and support for this channel. But thank you again for watching. I'm going to head on out for now. Until next time, stay cool, stay classy, stay safe. Catch you in the next one. Freddie, leave me alone. Bye.